It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Fierce Beer, a New Zealand beer collective. It's a beer that's launched into Sainsbury's as of September 2022. It's called Stuff and Nonsense. It's a New Zealand pale with nectar in, nectar on, with a trademark, and Motuika. 5.5% ABV, 440 milliliter can. So Nectaron, look at that. It must be something new to the brewing industry because they, they copyrighted it. Whenever people come up with something really good and they want to protect it, they copyright it. So this should be good. Should be good. Let's get the beer out into a glass here what we get. We got a pinky, reddy coloured label. The beer was £3.50 a can. It's 5.5% ABV. I say £3.50. A lot of them were £3.50. I bought them three days ago. The majority of the beers were £3.50. But if this was £3, because it's, it's, it's lighter in the ABV, then forgive me. Please forgive me. Who sang, who sang that song? Let me go. Uh, Donny, Donny something? Donny Decker or something? Donny Decker from the 80s. <laughs> Donny Darko. Um, one to two finger white, slightly off white head. Good levels of slow moving carbonation. Who sang that song? Let me go. <laughs> Don't love you anymore. <laughs> I'm in a funny mood this morning. It's Thursday morning. We're nearly there to the weekend. We are nearly there. Good levels of carbonation slowly pushing its way through the glass of beer. That means, for me, the beer has a really good body to it. When you see that carbonation fighting, struggling its way up the glass, you know it's having a bit of a struggle through the body of the beer. It's a orangey, ambery, hazy coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. It's a little grapefruity, it's a little lemony. It's not massive in the aroma. Now, here's the thing, and some of you might have watched it if I've released it yet, but I just did four beers from the Sainsbury's Taste the Difference range. £1.60 a bottle, 500 millilitres of beer. Bear in mind, these cans are only 440, so you're getting less beer in a can than you are a bottle. And some of the beers for £1.60 were completely outgunning this in the aroma, it really was. This is kind of like a bit... Mm, a bit... <laughs> like I'm expecting more. I'm paying between £3 and £3.50 a can. That's double the price. That's double the price of some of these Taste the Difference beers from Badger and Shepherd Neem. We're not talking like, you know, like, like Fierce Beer here, double the price. We're talking something half the price and they're, they're able to produce the same aromas. Mm. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. There's only one way to find... Oh, wow, did you see that? Um, there's only one way to find out, and that's by diving into this one. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> it's rubbish. Actually, is it rubbish? I was a bit. I was a bit quick off the mark there. I was a bit quick off the mark. Um, let's get some of the more unfiltered goodness into the beer.
It's grapefruity, it's lemony. There's a bit of passion fruit in there. Slightly malty. Citrusy. The question I'm asking myself again, and I can't help but ask the question because I've just reviewed four of them. Four of these Sainsbury's 500ml bottles for £1.60 a bottle. Is it, is it any better? Is this any better than the, the taste of difference range from Sainsbury's, their own brand beer? I, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Uh, <sighs> Certainly, I, I, I should, what I should do is do like a bottle comparison. I should buy like a Sainsbury's own beer or a supermarket's own beer and then buy one of these like £3.50 cans of beer put it side by side and just what you want from a beer that costs twice the price for less beer you want twice the quality you want twice the hop aroma you want twice the hop flavor you want fantastic balance you want incredible drinkability This is okay. This this is okay, but it's not. It's not knocking it out the park, you know. It's not like an American baseball game where they've just absolutely, you know, the, the striker has just smacked one, and it's it's literally going out into the crowd or going out over the stadium. It's not one of those type of hard hitters. It's a bit mundane it it's tasty don't get me wrong it's tasty but you can't tell me this that this is twice the beer as a one pound sixty bottle of Sainsbury's taste the difference this has got more in common with the the Sainsbury's citrus pale ale which I said I wouldn't finish this has got more in common with that okay it's more of a natural zesty citrus flavour but it's just really not doing it for me I think it's this now I don't hate it I don't hate it I, I, I'm getting no off flavours there's no kind of Sulfur, there's there's no diacetol. It's drinking rather nice. There's no off flavours, but it's just a bit boring. Right, I want to talk to you about this nectar on thing because I, I think this is the problem. Anything that's been trademarked like this and everybody makes a massive fuss about, I think this might be the problem. I think nectar on. Ah, uh, there we are. Right, Motoica hops and Nectaron hop oil. Nectaron hop oil. Why are you using hop oils in beer? Why are you... Like, the further away from actual whole, whole cone hops or a really good pellet hop, the further away we go from that, the further we are from having... Fantastic fresh beer. Nectar on hop oil. Combined to create an New Zealand pale. That should be a New Zealand pale. That we think is pretty damn unique. Juicy, zesty and lively with big citrus and tropical pineapple flavours. It tastes awesome. Anything else is stuff and nonsense. Well, I actually think this is stuff and nonsense. I think this is a perfect... Perfect example of where we are today in the beer industry. People are buying cans of beer for three, three pound fifty, four pound a can in the supermarkets these days, and they think because they paid three pound or three pound or four pound for their beer, they, they think they're getting absolute quality. But the truth is, they're not. They're not. I don't want hop oil in my beer. I want hops. Real hops. If you watched my more brewing company video, more beer company video from 
just last week, I'm adding whole cone hops to the boil. And I'm adding whole cone hops in, in like four or five different stages of the brew. That's how to brew top quality beer. That's how to brew absolute Rolls Royce beer. Not messing around with hop concentrates and hop oils and leave it out for goodness sake. Stuff and nonsense. I can't think of a better name for this kind of beer. It's stuff and it's complete nonsense. If you're looking for value for money, better value for money, then look at the Sainsbury's Taste the, Rain, Taste the Difference range of beers. They're £1.60. They're half the price of this. Half the price. And guess what? You get more beer in the bottle too. I think this is a very poor example. A really poor example of a pale ale. Um, in fact, I probably won't even be finishing this. Um, that might be for... That, might, that one might be for the sink. I like it enough to give it a 5 out of 10. It's a 5 out of 10 for Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.